Forgot to start the recording. Whatever. Nothing happened. We just teleported from eventide over here. There we go. Where are the sweets? They're at the candy shop. I'm gonna make the lollipop. Ha ha! Musical reference. Was there always a stable here? This isn't a dessert. Hmm. What would it feel like to walk through a desert where instead of sand, it's brown sugar? Unbearable heat. Retreat. Get out of the sun. Oh, I'm back. Probably the same as sand. It's rough and coarse and it gets everywhere. You good? All right, have fun. Y'all have a cooking pot around here. Ah, here we are. Ten pack, doggy. Yeah. Alrighty, I need... Chill shroom. Two chill shrooms and a gore meat, I guess. Nice heat resistance. What kind of... Makes you feel warm. Resists the cold. I don't have any cold elixir gear. Alright. Like using chill shrooms. Chill shrooms and some apples. Chill shrooms and a bunch of tomatoes. Chili tomato mushroom stew. Hmm. Not to be confused with chili tomatoes. Or tomato chili. I want chili. Imagine eating cold chili. Let's see, what else do we have? We have some hearty. Let's just cook a hearty truffle. Full recovery, all right. So you cook these one at a time. Understood. I don't think I have any, I have some radishes. Some more full heels. I should go to Farron and get some hearty durians as well. Nice. Tons of full heels. What else do I get? Lynch of stamina. See, it says one bite will replenish all of your stamina. What if I... Mix it with an apple. It lied. You know the answer is to cook a bunch of crabs now. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. What if I just cook batches of five of the same item? Seems to be doing pretty well. Why'd that dog become happy? 
<laughs> he just got happy with me all of a sudden. Whew. All this food, baby. Power glow. Cook nut. Saute these nuts. Why would Link eat the whole thing if one bite is enough? Because apparently he's... He's described as a gourmet. A.K.A. this guy can eat. Like, canonically. Ya boy loves food. So he's going to eat all of it. Obviously. Apparently you can't cook a bunch of rice. Okay. God, so much food. Is there a limit on how much food you can have again? Or can you just cook as much as you want? Because in Breath of the Wild, you had a maximum amount of food you could create. Because it... It still doesn't stack. I wish it would stack if it was the same recipe. But it is what it is. I'm still cooking. Hold up. Let him cook. But yeah, Link is a hungry boy, so he'll eat everything. He also has an iron stomach. I mean, I believe I've talked before about how this guy literally eats rocks, so... And not just, like, you accidentally cooked a rock into your food and you made hard food. Like, in Age of Calamity, he eats <laughs> Goron food, which is just rock. My god, I'm still cooking. Rock. Consume rock. Jesus, so much food. Where'd my nuts go? There they are. Consume one to get that little bit of heart back. Cook more. This is making me hungry, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I want, I want, I want meat skewer. That looks good. That looks good. This food all looks good. What happens if I cook a bunch of herb? Nice. I'm surprised it's still letting me go. I feel like this is n normally way past how much food you can hold. Look at it, it just keeps going. I feel like I'm good for now. All right, time to actually head out now that we've spent 10 minutes cooking. We should be prepped for the whole region. So to the desert. God, it's bright out there. My eyes. <laughs>
You know what? Just in time for it to cool down because it's getting to nighttime. Hey, over here! Hello! Vasak. Comb. Can't help but smile whenever I've got customers, whether it's one or a hundred. It's not enough that the intense desert days and freezing desert nights have reached Gerudo Canyon. Thanks to that sand shroud, there hasn't been any business here at all. If you're interested in sand seals, and you're in the right place. Sand seals are animals that can cruise easily through the desert, and this shop is where we rent them to travelers. Many travelers embark on journeys into the desert, only to discover how quickly their feet sink into the dunes, much like my feet are currently stuck in the sand. If you're thinking of crossing the desert, you should make it easy on yourself and go sand seal surfing instead. Ah. Running a sand seal costs 20 rupees. If you're interested in a sleigh seal, sand seal with a carrier, it's 50 rupees. Mm -hmm. I'm okay for the time being. Sand trout has made crossing the desert even more dangerous than normal, you know. Yeah, it's fine. I wanted to... I don't know what I wanted to do. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, I, wa I want a sand seal. Ah. Well, let's go. Oh. Do you want to rid a sand seal or maybe a sleigh seal? Just a sand seal. Sarkso! <laughs> Pronounced correctly. Oh, don't forget that they're called sand seals for a re reason. Watch out for rocky areas, okay? Ah. If you're having trouble surfing with a shield, try removing any attachments. Or you can just use a different shield. All my shields don't really have any fancy jewelry, so I think we'll be fine. Hey. Let's go! Dun da 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 Going into Kara Kara Bazaar! I didn't need to use you at all. I was wasting my money. Whatever. Now what are they up to? Savak. Savak. Mm -hmm. Hmm, another Hylian, huh? Is that a mushroom? I mean, you're making the, you and those merchants for making it here under these abnormal conditions. <sighs> the area, area south of Karakar Bazaar is covered by the sand shroud right now, so visibility is extremely low. Then there are eyewitness reports of strange monsters. I won't think any less of you if you call off your trip here. <sighs> Besides, this oasis is under the protection of us Gerudo soldiers, so you know it's a safe place to rest and relax. I trust the Gerudo. Welcome to Karakara Bazaar. Also, keep an eye out. God, she's tall. Yeah, Gerudo, Gerudo are like... Like six, seven feet tall. They are huge. Yeah, keep an eye out because... Um, a type of lizard called the Hardy Lizard can be found here. And they can make full heal. I'm not going to steal your stuff. They can make full heal uh, potions. Anyway, let's go shut up our little... Whoa. What the? My attached shrine. Like a whirlwind being sucked up into the air. Yeah, Gerudo are like, they're like desert Amazon people. <laughs> they're all women, except for Ganon. Dwarf, Ganon Dwarf, not Ganon, Ganon Dwarf. Different person, same person, different. It, it <laughs> he calls himself Ganon when he turns into a pig. That's all you need to know. I'm gonna ride one of these back up. Boop, 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 All right, see ya. What do we have going on in here? What's this? Seems to be sand that is actually sucking away my stamina. I don't want to stand in that. All right. I ain't about to get quicksand for you, so. Come here. Oops. 
I'm going to build a sand boat. Oh, they, uh, they left me one. <laughs> this here is my sand skiff. It's skiff sand. What happens if I put it in the sand? It floats. Hey. Right. I need to get to this island with the fans. I'll do so. Like this. Eh. Quick, attach it. Attach it. Okay. Now the current's pulling us back. We can just roll right back. Let's put these on the back. And then our goofy little Star Wars contraption can probably just get right out of here. That that's a terrible placement. Am I still sinking? No. It does push me back. If it wasn't pushing me back, we could just hang out in that. All right, we should probably be facing forward. Let's go. Let's go. Oop. <laughs> Come on. Yes. We're free. Later. I'm not going over there for a chest. What are you, crazy? I'm getting out of here. Freedom. All right, so that's going to be a thing where we have to build like, like sand boats. That's good to know. I'm just gonna walk to Gerudo City. What could possibly go wrong? Besides, you know, the giant whirlpool sucking everything up into the sky. Everything? Nah. Nah. What's going on here? I got sand in my eye. Hi. Sub sub ah. Mm -hmm. That was a perfect facade, if I do say my so myself. Oh. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Your name Binja. Who are you? Who are we? We're the first men who will visually do business with the Gerudo. The Voe Cavern Squad. Caravan Squad. If you want to, want to go to Gerudo Town, you do well to make friends with us. Goodbye. It's only a matter of time before we become the first men invited into Gerudo Town. I'm sure of it. I believe you will. Except I've been there. It cold. Putting on my silly hat. God, I can't see shit. But I know which direction I'm headed, so. I thought that was a person standing there, but it's a cactus. Ooh, hydromelon. This resilient fruit can flourish even in the heat of the desert. It's a heat resistant food. What the hell is that? <laughs> Scouting? It's a Gibdo. Oh, 
Oh my god. There's one over there too. They put Gibdo in the game. Also, take a picture of the Volt Fruit. Sick. Cacti found in the Gru Desert bear this sweet fruit. Provides resist provides resistance to electricity. All right. Time to see what's good. Howdy. Uh. It just tanked all of that. Oh my god, it has so much health. Set it on. Ah. Yibdo bone, a creepy bone with multiple sharp tips. Tends to break easily, but it's got 40 attack power. Oh my god. That actually seems like something that would make a fantastic arrowhead. All right, so these guys. Yeah. Eh. Die to fire. Burn. I think I do more damage if I shoot him with the arrow, yeah. Yo, they brought Gibdo back. Sick! The Desert Rift. Oh, this is a problem. I don't remember there being a canyon. Get out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> I guess we're just gonna cross. Mr. Bat, no! He's been slain. Ah, here comes the Gibdo. I killed him, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. He died like a fool. Ooh, a spring. Delayed reaction, don't worry about it. Ooh, a rocket. Rocket power! Love that show. What the? All right, this is a, what do I keep? Okay, I thought I was falling into a hole. I was like, why do I keep falling? Yeah, this is a Korok thing. Don't really care right now, if I'm being honest. I want to get to the city. Fight my way through these little zombie nerds. Oh, hey, another. Oh God, it survived. Oh, <laughs> kick his ass. Oh my God, another. I don't like the way that he's jiggling. I'm being honest. Use my sword. Don't let him touch you. Oh my god. All right, you know, Bo, take him out. These guys are kind of intimidating. We're still walking in roughly the correct direction. Ah, I believe we're here. Yeah, we made it. Kill it. Thank you, boys. Let me pop my knuckles real quick. Feels good.
Welcome to Gerudo Town. Hello? This seems like a problem. I think Gerudo Town might be having a, uh, a little bit of a zombie apocalypse here. Where's the shrine? Just straight up ahead? I don't remember there being a hole. Up above. Is it on top? Oh, hey! It's, it's uh, the little, uh... The little stuffed sand seals. I remember those. We found those in, uh... Up north, there was a lady that was trying to transport them to Hateno Village, and we knocked them out of her, out of her wagon. I remember those. I thought they were so cute. Ah, here we go. Soryo Tanag. We get our portal for Gerudo Town ready. Bury the light deep within Cast aside, there's no coming home Anyway We're burning chaos in the wind Can I, can I, do I, get, do I grab, do I grab? Do, I, do you want me to grab you? Activate fan! Blow me away! Oh, I gotta put it, like, right in front of it. Free treasure chest. Alright, so we're in the cleaning... The cleaning shrine. Ooh! I think this... Well, no, we found, we found some walkies before, but I didn't comment. That design for the key is really cool looking. I don't think I said that. I'm coming in. I'm here to clean up all your mess. Woo! <laughs> Forgot this was an electric spear. Get dunked on. Ooh, a mirror. Oh boy, are we going to be doing spirit temple shenanigans with light mirrors? I hope so. You ever watch Creepypastas in the 2010s? Uh, if you count 2013 as the 2010s, yes. How are you, Diego? Also, I punched my microphone. Sorry about that. Try and get it away from my hand a little bit. Oh, oh hello! Now that that's done, let's go look out here. Mic abuse. <coughs> Deserves it. Doom. Do da da. Oh my god, there's so many places to go. Ascend! Waha! I need another fan. You know what? You'll work. Yep! Uh. Hmm. Maybe it needs to be closer. There we go. Alright. Get my fan! There we go. 
I like this dust mechanic. What's the uncanny valley? It's when you look at something and it seems real, almost. Where it's close enough to being real and fake at the same time where it seems uncomfortable to look at, unnatural. That's the uncanny valley. I see we're back to playing, playing 200 questions. There's a 20 questions? Nah, at this kid, at this, at this point, it's more like 200. Oh, oh there's a, uh, a ceiling above me. <laughs> what up, Jack? Think of a human robot, yeah. Or like some early CG. We have light. Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. All right, I think I can hold the sign up and open the door from here. Or the mirror, not the sign. Here's your sign. All right, let me just this. All right, now that that's open, do I stay? It stays open. All right, cool. Job done. I like that shrine. That was fun. I can't unhear the... <laughs> the Among Us theme anymore. You ever wa watch Whatever Happened to Robot Jones? I did not. I've never even heard of it. Oh boy, seems like it's hot out right now. Well, time to dive into the zombie infested city. Covered in sand. Hello there. I might as well be a good hero and clear out some of the... some of the creatures infesting the town. I need more fire. Actually... You. I don't need the fan on you anymore, so... Don't I device? Where's my flame emitter? There it is. There we go. Let's see how well this does as an anti-Gibdo armament. It doesn't have a whole lot of damage, so it probably won't do well. I like how, like, somber the music is. That in combination with the, you know, zombies really pulls out a kind of Resident Evil feel in this place. I really like that. Oh, another hole in the ground.
These are all holes in the ground. Down to the well, I'm assuming. Oh, bye bye, lizard. Another Gibdo. I'm gonna test out our new weapon. Well, it's not very good. Wait a minute. All right, so. I've learned. You set them on fire, that destroys their armor. And then, they are vulnerable. Alright, understood. I get their gimmick now. Very cool. Also, hello! Kinda like humans, yeah, kinda. You set them on fire, they tend to become pretty weak. What does this say? This is legible, by the way. This has to- this is translatable. We know what the Gerudo alphabet is. It has to be something. Also, this is, uh... Interesting. I don't feel like translating right now, so I won't. Alrighty. We've explored the outside. So let's go see what's going on in this hole in the floor. Hello, is that Floka? Will Smith, the Smiths, the Will Smith Slith. Yes, I do remember when Will slip, when Will Smith slapped the guy. Will slip, smip the guy. Oh. Nothing to report. Hmm. Huh? What? Well, a did you come here to escape the sand shroud? We've reached the entrance to the Grudo shelter. They can't allow any Voe to pass through this door. You ever watch Men in Black? I did. I loved them. I've only seen the first two, though. Oh. Ah, you've never heard that word. Voe means man in Grudo. There is a custom, really more of a law, that we Grudo follow. Young Grudo are generally not allowed to interact with Voe. What's wrong? What's going on? Oh. A Voe wandered in here. Oh. What? Did you say Voe? Ah. There's nothing to worry about. The Voe is very short and can't even reach the peoples in the door. <gasps> ah! <laughs> we stand a short king. He's out of sight and even on his tiptoes he won't be able to see in. Ah. Kinda see. Normally Voe aren't even allowed to set foot within the walls of Gerudo Town. But this is a unique situation. Oh. So long as you keep out of the shelter, I'll overlook your presence in town. If you're looking for some place to get out of the sand shroud, you can rest in one of the houses on the surface. I can kind of see what's going on in there. 5-2, just a reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, more Gibdo. Wait, that's a guy being eaten. I'm here to save you! Get my fire stick. All right. Burn away their crunchy exterior and reveal their cream filling. Also known as their spine. Hey, I saved you from the zombies. Oh, another voice. Wait, what? Look at this nerd. Whew, you're just another real living person. Certain one of the ghosts haunting this place had come for me. Traveled out here hoping to meet the wonderful, amazing Gerudo women who lived here, but there's... no one. I do sometimes hear voices coming up from the wells. Oh, and I also occasionally see small shadows moving to the west. <sighs> Obviously, the place is now haunted by restless spirits of beautiful Gerudo who are slain by the strange monsters! But if I'm not careful, the same monsters might get me too. God. Why does everyone who come to town, why are they all freakishly thirsty? The water's drained. There used to be water up here. Exploring for secrets, what are you doing? Get, get back in the shelter! 
Avoa! I don't want to get talked talk to people. I don't, I'm not supposed to. I gotta get back to the shelter quick. Yeah, get out of here. There's literal zombies. It's a desert and the women are hot. Ah, I see. You know what? I am also thirsty. But my solution is to take a drink. Ugh, much better. For some reason, that that mouthful of Diet Pepsi tastes like eggnog. Huh. Weird. Now I want eggnog. I don't even like alcohol. I just like how eggnog takes. You remember the eight raid on Area 51? It wasn't a raid. It was a joke. Is there anyone else hanging out outside? Need to make sure everyone is safe. That's what they want you to think. Ah, yes. I'm sorry for underestimating the... <laughs> The highly skilled ninja squads that infiltrated Faze and me. Ah, okay. Are you the man, man? That's just what the man wants you to think. Get... Underground, Ocklet! Wow! Of all way again! I'll be so mad if she saw me talking to you! Give up exploring, I gotta get back to the shelter! I'm going to follow you to make sure you actually get there. Because... There we go! One, two... Up! I see. I'm breaking and entering. No. A VOA! There's a VOA here! Stop him! Hello? I've been imprisoned! VOA are not permitted to be here! You must leave at once! Oh. Hold on. Oh, hey! Uliara, Gerudo Captain of the Guard. It has been some time, Swordsman. It's all right. This one has the Chief's permission to enter, and he is welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. Oh. For you to come all this way, and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Zelda missing. Also, Dragon. Mm -hmm. The Princess of Hyrule is still missing. We had heard of the events at Hyrule Castle, but this... Things are dire indeed. Still, Swordsman... Uh, I mean, Link. I'm impressed you made it here through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. I mean, I just walked in a direction. It wasn't very hard. Mm. The Sand Shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent out patrols to try and determine what's causing it, but... The swarm of monsters... Creatures called Gibdos suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos have even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to this shelter for their safety. As someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I am ashamed at our current situation. This is all to say that, although I wish I could help you for... I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you're hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. Was she becoming like a... She's on her training arc. Buliara, a strong warrior who guards Chief Riju. She's familiar with Link from his previous visits. One glance at her giant glamour deters most troublemakers. Her concern for Riju is one of the few things that softens the stern demeanor she shows her soldiers. 
I already said yeah, Diego. What is this? Surely it's not important. Is this breakable? Yeah, her claymore. Yeah. Put that away. Put that away. That's a gloom sword. Oh my god, it is breakable. What is this? It's got a bouncy ball on it. Hey, I think I... I think I discovered what you're talking about. Sava. Sava. Hmm. Oh, you must be that Voa everyone is talking about. They are highly in Voa interested in archaeology. This one is... Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I have finally deciphered these stelae. Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? Yeah, I do. If you insist. First up, the stella over here on the left. It says, The seven heroines who protect their Gerudo. Their secret will be expressed on six stelae. As for the Stella over there, on the right, it says, A seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. An eighth channels and guides the power of these, of these seven. Okay. Seven heroines. Secrets on six Stella. Seven heroines. Eighth channels and guides the powers. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Ah. I doubt you know this being a Hylian Voa, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. Hmm. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Mm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some argue for revering all seven as a collective and others for worshipping each one as an, in, as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there were not seven, but one! Or eight! If there's one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. Ah. But these stelae definitely support the theory of eight. Eh? An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say that I've changed the face of archaeology. But if I found the other four stelae, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines? I wonder, too, about this orb that I found while searching for the stele. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I gave a presentation on all this, I'd be the star of the Archaeology Society. Mm. But I've not been able to find any stele besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. <sighs> How I wish I could see the text inscribed on those stele. Even just a picture would serve my purposes. Pondering. Pondering. Orb. Alright, well, I found one. Oop. So yeah, the seven heroines. I remember that. I think... Part of it was here. There used to be more, didn't there? There's only four statues left there, but there's also another statue. Over here. It's on the other side of the mountain. But I think some of the statues are missing. See, there's... Three, four, five. Because this is a statue. I think one of one or two of them might be missing. Is it oh. pondering the orb? I'm pondering. Dragon's exile. This is, uh, I believe, where there is a Leviathan skeleton, and that is um. That's where a there used to be a fairy. One of the great fairies. Huh? 
this clothes? Nope, those are targets. I was hoping they were clothing. What are you doing? Oh, oh you're that special Voa the guard was talking about. Is this the love class? My name is Ashai. I'm in charge of teaching the Voa and you class to the Gerudo. <laughs> Have you had heart set on someone special? No. Oh. oh, is that right? Don't let love pass you by. Things just kind of sparkle when you're in love, you know. <laughs> you're welcome to sit in, in on a lesson if you're interested. Voa aren't normally allowed in town. So it would be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe you could come by in the evening. That class is for the older Gerudo. The daytime class is for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a Voa. Family friendy. Link doesn't know what sex is. The Grape Fairy. You're actually not wrong. Because that specific Grape Fairy wears purple. <laughs> she is the Grape Fairy. Ooh, a treasure chest. Boop. Hey, Fitty Ruby. What is going on here? Does it want me to ascend? No. Wait. I think this is the pictures on the orbs. Because like, yeah, one of them had this and I remember seeing like maybe this one elsewhere. Wait, no, this is the, this is the, uh, that little circle of the statues. In Breath of the Wild, there was a puzzle where you'd have to, in the middle, you had to put orbs with the, with the, like, correct symbols for each statue in their respective hole. That's what these are. So there are definitely eight. I'm investigating the underground. Discovery, the Valley of Silent Statues. The what? Oh my god. How strange. Nothing like going to stretch your legs and ending up in the strangest place. Everything looks the same down here. It would be so easy to get turned around. Wonder if the people who originally made this place got lost in it all the time, too. Hello? Uh -huh. Hey, what do you want? Were you lurking in the shadows there, eavesdropping on what I was saying? I'm standing right here. Oh, you're that Voa everyone has been talking about, right? If I were younger, I might have been surprised to see you here. But at my age, well, very little surprises me. Disappointed that I wasn't shocked and aghast at the very sight of you? <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go. Feeling a little parched, so maybe I had to get something to drink at the canteen. Right, enjoy your drink. I'm going to investigate. What the? Oh, it's a luminous stone. Ooh, that's definitely breakable. Link? You dummy. All right. Back up we ah! <sighs> Well. So much <sighs> So much for that. People don't notice Link because he is very short. Don't be mean. All right. Let's try this again. Don't be mean. He's trying his best. I'm okay. Get out from under it. All right. I just phased through the through the floor. Pay no mind to that. What's that? 
Looks like a light thing. Ooh, bombs. Rope. Bombs. A mirror. Oh my. I wonder if it wants me to do this. Hey, you know, Bo. Come here. Yeah. Almost. Another good shot and you can do this, buddy. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to do it myself. There we go. Let there be a light. Need to light this up, I guess. <gasps> I've opened a secret door. Let's do this one, too. Old. I love how Gerudo puzzles are also, are always these, like, light redirection. What's this? Oh? For you, oh, another, <gasps> another mirror. Oh, 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 my God. That looks like story progress. It very well may be. What do we have over here? A frog. Now that's the important thing I came here for. Alright. Time for some light puzzle. I need to get you. Probably over here. This seems like we're a little bit more open. Uh There we go. I don't know why it fell over earlier. Frog, the bibble frog. Our boy, the bibble frog. Such a simple creature. And we need to aim. Well, they have really good lighting in here. Cool. What is this? You're not what I was anticipating. Eat water! Oh god! <laughs> Get him! Give me my bow back! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. An attack up nine knights bow. Who wants a 35 damage bow? Holy shit. Ping pong. Slap his ball around. Get him by the sack. All right, what are you? A topaz. And you? A Gerudo Claymore. Eh. Alright, time to destroy some ancient artifacts and eat a 
a thousand, a several thousand year old apple. Very cool. Right, was that all there is to this? That may have been all there is to it. It's fine. It is, is edible. Ish. Oh, hey, hardy lizard. Bye bye, hardy lizard. What the hell is this? I'm gonna set it on fire, whatever it is. Also, I should eat. Let's see. Something low hearted. Oh boy! Good thing I brought this! Get him, boys! Damn! Sitting on the gr he's got on the floor working it! Someone gonna hit him? They all just stood there and watched him wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Doo doo, boo, boo, boo. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Give me that arrow. Guys? God, you suck. What the? Something just exploded. Something exploded again! Hello? Ha! Read you? Oh my god. She's acquired the power of Zeus. Also adding this to my compendium. This is going in my cringe compilation. Hello, Riju. How you doing? things I didn't expect to see you here Riju chief of the Gerudo but then you always show up in unusual times you know at this point I'd say these times are highly usual for this world oh. <laughs> so Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky Zelda finished right in front of you and now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time that the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we've never seen before began attacking. 
We've been calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They are slow, but they still make investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? Your aim is impeccable. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with a lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it might be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If we can do that, we can investigate the source of this sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. <laughs> think I know where this is going. Do you think there's going to be a fake Zelda somewhere? And she becomes a sage? Nah. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at the dummy over there. Okay. Ha! I missed. Ha! Ooh. Ha! There we go! Now let's try something a little trickier. Hmm. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three, right around where that rock is jutting out. Oh, but keep in mind that the farther away a target is from me, the longer it'll take me to build the energy... The longer it'll take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. Alright, so just... Wait. To, like, right there. Yes! I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Can't thank you enough for your help, Link. <gasps> what? No. Huh? What was that? Hmm. It didn't sound like any noise a sand shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief! We've served word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Kara Kara Bazaar. Liara is already on her way there. <laughs> She's already. Okay, understood. Thank you. <laughs> Link, we need to head to Kara Kara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Kara Kara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show these Gibdos what we're made of. I've already acquired a portal. Electric Saflina. Increase electricity resistance. I can't see! One's an accident, two is a coincidence, three is a pattern, and four is an issue. Well, I got five fingers, so what's the next? Hear the zombie problem? Oh. Don't need let, let any more Gibdos get close. Uh, if help doesn't arrive soon. Get owned! Sorry to keep everyone waiting. I'm here now. We're going to wipe all the Gibdos out at once. Follow me! Link, don't let me down. These monsters stand no chance! Get them! Oh my god! Uh. Uh. Holy shit, she's terrifying.
This is sick! Are there more? Are there more? Are there? Are there? I don't... I don't see any. I hear Gibdo. I don't see... Ah, there they are. Oh, they come out of the mushroom. Ew! Okay, we can't hurt the mushroom. Ew. The swarm of Gibdo seems to be coming from there. Ew! We need to destroy that somehow, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. How about the, how about tryptophobia? Old. Like so. Wait for it to activate and then shoot it. Right in the gut. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Zelda? Oh my god. Uh. That's bad. Real bad. It's fine. It's a twee star. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm. Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. All right. We're going to destroy the city with tornadoes. Can I jump into this? Woohoo! Oh my. I can s I thought that was a giant hulking creature. <laughs> nah, it's just a. It's just it's just like the Gerudo hut or the the Gibdo hut. That was terrifying. All right. Anyway, let's. We should. Let's just. Let me say like a million words, and none of them mean anything. We need to get to town. Molduga. I haven't seen a Molduga this entire time, except for the cutscene where there's like a million of them and they got owned, epically bodied. Hey, what's up? I'm here to fight zombies. Look, Link. Oh, yep, that's a that's a Gibdo shrine, a shroom. There's a Gibdo hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time too. But it's not only the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need the clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. 
Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. So when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Uh. Huh? Come. Come. To where I am. Uh. Again, you heard it, didn't you? Come, is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? I thought... It's nothing. Hmm. Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. I love that movie. We must prepare for battle. Time to murder! Oh, I guess we should, uh... Oh, she wanted to take a seat. Hmm. The sand shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos and their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. Hmm. There's something bigger going on. But for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Bulliara and the soldiers. And help us organize our defenses. Hello, we're playing tower defense now. Oh. You have questions about preparing for the battle? What's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to decide how to best deploy our forces. Oh. Pata is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. She, we could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. You have questions about preparing? Tell me about the enemy. Mm. The Gibdos we've encountered in the, in the desert do not fall easily when struck. Attacks only seem to dull a blade. But fire attacks, as well as Lady Riju's lightning, appear to be very effective against them. Oh. Rather than relying on the brute force of swords and, and spears, we should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not unbeatable. That is enough to give us hope. Just equip your entire army with flamethrowers, like me. Hello, soldiers. Oh. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we'll need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We spread them out to lightly cover all the gates. Or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position? Oh. We need to decide who to send where. I'd like to hear your thoughts. The spear troops? Oh. East. West. North? Send them to the east. Oh. Understood. They will defend the east gate. Oh. Sword oh. troops? Go to the west. Ah. They will defend the west gate. Ah. The cannoneer. Oh. Hold this position. North gate. Or maybe... Oh. If I return them to the yard, they just come here. Oh. Alright. I wanted to put the cannon... Like, somewhere where it could cover all... Like, all bases. Like, on top of the castle here, this is where I'd put it. But, whatever. Let's go talk to the defense reinforced lady. Hello. Barricade building. 
Been gathering materials I feel that might I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Let's talk barricades. There are three gates. From the palace, the north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. Got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set up at? The north. Ah. Okay, the barricade has been set up at the north gate. That should slow down any enemies that attack that position. About materials. Gathered some weapons and the materials to improve them. There's also some food and some rupees. And the troop found these same strange capsules while patrolling, so those are here too. And of course, if things get really dire, like say if your bows all break or if you run out of arrows in the middle of battle, I can help you there too. Okay, so this is the refueling oh. station. Take the arrows. What are these? Ah, it's rupees. I'll take... Ooh, an electric horn. That's good. Because we've learned that the electric horn can decimate them. Take these. And this as well. A stake! Oh my god, we found the nails! We've been using them in shrines forever, but we just finally actually found one. Very good. Alright. I think we're about as good as we can be. When I quit my spear. When the battle begins, I'll be focused on protecting her. For the sake of the Gerudo, nothing can happen to her. Okay, you ready? The preparations complete? Yep. The battle begins! To war! Link. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm? Here they come! It's the Gooey Boys! Yeah. Situation report! Large numbers of Gibdos are moving to attack the town! Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Oh my god! Weren't kidding about large numbers, were you? Uh, Buliara, they have the town surrounded. Stay strong! This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them all out in one battle, hives and all. <laughs> Kick their ass! Yeah. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Everyone, protect, protect our chief, protect our town. To battle! Monsters have appeared outside town. Shore up the defenses at the gate. What is this, Hy Hyrule Warriors? Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. East gate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help. Enemies are pouring out of the hive. Yes. Get it. Oh. Alright. Y'all cover this. I'm moving on to the next. Westgate. All right. Take the north one, because I'm here. All right. 
To the west. They're in the town. Enemies from the west gate hide. Time for a lightning strike or two. Flying. Get out of our town. That's right. I, I claim it now too. What the hell? The enemies won't stop coming until we wipe out all that's the last of the hides. Oh, I accidentally won. <laughs> What the fuck? Don't let them reach, reach, lady, reach you. Eliminate every enemy. Clear out all the enemies left in town. Ha! Get down, freaky mob. Stay back. Hey, hi, coconut. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse. How are you? I'm good. How are you? That was fun. I thought it was going to be more difficult, honestly. Good, that's good to hear. Link, I'm incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect that the Gibdo threats will calm a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Hmm. I've noticed the hives have crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe... Maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice in lightning. This reminds me of something. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Is it about the... The the heroines? You have Instagram? I do, but I don't use it. Gibdo Guts. The dried guts of defeated Gibdo. They're effective vitality-rich ingredients. Hmm... You want to eat zombie guts? Apparently, they're really good for you. Let me in. Can I come in? Fought well against the Gibdos. I'm glad you are all right. Would have been acceptable, unacceptable for an important guest of Lady Rijo. Riju, even a Voa, to be injured. You may pass through here. Get some rest and recover after such a fierce battle. Open the vault. Ooh, I should probably get an upgrade. I believe I have the the light for it. I do. One more stamina. This should give us a third ring. Sick. All right, now we're going to focus on hearts. You're being overfill. There is no need to increase your stamina vessels further. <gasps> we have max stamina. The Vault of Secrets. Welcome to Vault Tech. Get a fourth ring. I wish. I'm only allowed to have three. Red pillars and light. Oh, Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. It is thought to have been painted by the ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using the shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Probably Ganon. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars and light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You can hear my voice come to me. I await you. Hmm. The mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. Hmm. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. 
What does it say? I can't read it. Can you tell me? Writing on it says... Back to back with... With throne. Red pillars across vast sea. Unite pillars in light. Lightning stone open way. I accidentally wrote light night stone. Lightning stone. Yeah, you can hear my voice come to me. I wait you. The sand shroud makes it impossible to explore the Gerudo desert. Except maybe if you could soar like a in the sky like a Rito. A Dorito. Back to back with the throne. That's easy. Whoa! This is further outside town than I expected. I thought it'd be popping up in the throne room. All right. I can't see back to back. Get out of the way. Witness red pillars across a vast sea. I'm guessing it's these? Oh, it is Mondo hot right now. Oh my god. Get inside. Hello. All right. Y'all have a clothing shop. Earrings. Well, Sapphire is heat resistant. He's heat resistant. They don't have a clothing shop. They have a gift shop. They do, but they don't have a clothing shop. I want to buy clothes. Okay. Wait, wait a man. You must be that man, I, I mean Voe, that everyone is talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. So you really did get special special permission to be in here, huh? All the same, you should still be on your best behavior. You wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's what normally happens when men come here. Oh. <laughs> like what happened to that guy over there? Get owned. I don't think you'd have anything to worry about so long as you behave. Anyway, this is important. Since you have been allowed in town, you mu absolutely have to try the spa plan at Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Roma, has a special technique that is all the rage. Originally, I was just another com customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now I work here as an assistant. Ha! Uh -huh. The spa plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option, too. But, well, just keep in mind that it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. So this is a spa. Well, I'm not looking for that kind of entertainment. I want clothes. Where's the fashion? They really don't have a clothing shop. Well, because I'm spending all my money on the sapphire circlet. Hmm, so this is a Voe. His ears seem to be about the circumference of his head and neck. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, you're the first Voe I've ever seen. I got a little carried away for you uh, figuring out your measurements. Why was I doing that? Well, this is the jewelry shop. I make accessories and the key to any good accessory is a perfect fit. My name's Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a Voe. So if you give me the chance, I'll put everything I've got into making some really great ones for you. Mm. The shop's owner were here, she probably could have made you all sorts of things. She went out to look for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such high spirits too, gushing about all the treasures she'd find around the Torama Dunes. It's a dangerous place though, Mulduga territory. I hope she didn't run into trouble. Pretty sure the clothing would be too big for Link. He could just wear, like, oh. Riju-sized clothes. She's about his size. An intricate g headpiece crafted with Gerudo goldsmith techniques. 
Sark. It fit me perfectly. Damn, I'm I'm the king now. Yeah, he could wear what is basically child sized. <laughs> All right. Do the pillars. Still too hot. Oh my God. See, this is why I was looking for a clothing store. In Breath of the Wild, you could buy the, um... Like the Gerudo set that had heat resist. Uh oh. My spear's broke! Don't let him touch you! Where'd those flying Gibdos wind up? All right, so I'm guessing this is the pillars. Can I break this. Eh. I did it. Got to get on top. See if we can get a better vantage point to find where the next pillar is. Cuz I don't think the light is pointed at it. Uh Can't tell. Cuz of the sand. I think it actually needs to be pointed that way. Also, a rock. Hello? Hey, right, can I move you? No. Apparently, me checking where they go, where it's going, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just follow it. Oh, hey! The flying Gibdo. Well, that'll be a problem we deal with later. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's stay above all the monsters, shall we? Here's another pillar. Shrine of light nearby. I don't believe you. Is that a... Can't tell, but it kind of looks like a a gloom hole in the distance. Where's the light from this one supposed to come? Well. Oh. Hello. Come here, you know, Bo. Take him out. Easy clap. Hey. What is this? Speed. Bean. What? I did it. <laughs> huh? 
I need to pull it up to the top. I don't know what I wasn't paying attention. I was just spinning the thing. <laughs> I've made a triangle. Is that an abyss? Maybe I have to get the last the the last um portal the last light to face the right way. Maybe it's it's not exactly facing the tower. I think I need to make a triangle out of these. I didn't sign up here to do geometry. I wanted to fight monsters and shit. Instead, I'm facing my biggest adversary yet. Basic math. Oops. Truly the most terrifying of foes. Oh, there's Gibdo. A ton of arrows. All right, come here, Yonobo. Yonobo? They seem to have gotten stuck on some rocks. All right, deal with them. Easy clap. What is this? Oil? Sick. All right, I need to get up top. And I guess we need to turn this to face the last tower. What is this? What the? Oil. Time to oil up. Where are the floating rocks? And whatever that is. Oh shit, it got gold. Put on my hat. Hmm. Let me get up here and check out what's going on. Ah, okay, I do need to turn it. But in order to do that, I need to... Do this. Turn you off. Do you want it up? I want it to be to stick up as high as possible, make it easier to grab. Alright. Now I hit you. Seek you up. Oop. A little bit too far. Get out of the hole, Link. And I can't quite reach it. To be able to reach it from this level, though. From here, go. All of the way to the top. All right. Well done. We're good. We did it.
That is a very loud car. Okay. Set you down. Take it apart. Time to fix it. Uh, that was a monster. Nope, that was someone being obnoxious. I don't think I've ever had my microphone pick up someone's car before. That's a first. All right. A swine. Deal with that later. For now, I believe I need to turn this. The face. A little bit more. The light. Make a triangle. Yes! I did it! I'm smart! That's the lightning stone. I need to go talk to Riji. Something should have been revealed, perhaps at the center. Let's go take care of this shrine real quick while we're here. The Arbiter's Grounds. Oh my God, there's a ton of guys here. Irisak Shrine. Oop. Oh my god, they're just... There's moths everywhere! Oh, sick! Free shrine, good thing I did this. Take a large charge. Easy shrine, baby. Ba -da. Ah. Thank you very much, Raru. Large and in charge. That real, that real. Oh, I guess the... I guess the reason it was a blessing is because it was expecting you to have to get up the sand here. Instead of, you know, just flying over. Hey. Right. Bury the light deep within. Let's go talk to Riju, and failing that, we just go to the the lightning the lightning stone. I like that little puzzle. That was that was fun. Also, that looks like a Pokemon. Anyway. Reju. Mm. Lady Reju said that she spotted a light out in the sand shroud and quickly departed. She didn't take anyone with her. I'm glad that the chief does not possess an overly cautious nature, but at times she can be a bit reckless. Did you find her? I'd feel better knowing you were there if she needed help. Okay, so she just headed right there. Thanks for wasting my time. 
<laughs> up, 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 up. I feel like Volt Fruit is bigger in this game. I feel like it was smaller in Breath of the Wild. Also, grab it. Thank you. So she just headed straight out. Change my shield to the sled. You'll see why in one moment. Maybe. I might not need to. To engage. Get up. Oh. We're aiming for the middle. That tower shut off. Here we go. Rolling around at the speed of sound. There it is. That's not Riju. Link. Did you see that Link? It's Zelda. It is. What? She's gone. I'm starting to wonder if there might actually be like two Zeldas in this. Like there's the there's always like the fake Zelda that's fucking with everything and making everything terrible. But I also feel like there's a Zelda that's guiding us through, like, the dungeons. So I wonder if she's, like, kind of projecting, like, a guide. I don't know. Hmm. Saw the lights of the red pillars and hurried here as quickly as I could. It cannot be a coincidence that we've seen someone look like Zelda twice. But a mystery for another time. Oh. Did you solve the mural's riddling causes to appear? I'm impressed. If I remember correctly, the mural said, Unite the pillars and light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Oh. Maybe my lightning strike is the key. So what I'm hearing is I think that there are three Zeldas, possibly even four. Hit it! Wow, that's huge. The real one, the guide, and the evil one. Well, the real one and the guide would be the same. Riju's power of lying. Lightning. When Riju's armor is charged, you can call on her for a lightning attack. All right. Let's go. Come on, squad. Better keep up, Riju. The Lightning Temple. The mural's myth risen from the sands. It is huge. Riju! Keep up! <laughs> Alright. Eh! Yeah. 
Let me in. What the? Hello? Queen Gibdo, Scourge of the Lightning Temple. Oh, we're just getting right into it, I guess. fingers this has to be their get her what? does that mean it's like the other gift is our attack should be effective now ah! nothing but sand wherever we look where did it go? get it hit her oh my god Unfortunately for you, I have full heels out the ass, lady. Come here. You know what? You know what? Come here. I wish there was some easier way to get a hold of everybody. <laughs> I missed. Hit her. She's down. She she healed. Coward. Oh, it's phase two. Or not. Fine, jeez. Chase you down. Fled up towards the roof. Maybe there's some way to go up after it inside the structure? Come on, Link. Let's look for a way in. Hmm. I wonder what this might be. Coward! Face me! Oh. Let's deal with that. You know, Bo? Stop running from me. God damn it. Lazy ass. No one shot it. I didn't mean to activate you, but okay. Hit him. Okay. All right, you hold right there. All right. Now take it out. There we go. My God, you all just stood there and watched it. Lazy ass! Do I gotta do everything here? Man, you have all these heroes around and they don't do nothing. No wonder Hyrule keeps falling again and again. Link is the only one that does anything. Stop running from me! Oh my god! Let me in! Welcome to the Lightning Temple. Ooh. Yep. Need to get a duster fan, apparently. A flame emitter. That'll probably come in handy. 
Come here. My little duster. Dust away all the on the sand. Clean up. Right, stand on this. Also, this isn't Gerudo text. At least not modern Gerudo. Interesting. That's a, that's something that's something neat to note. Here be dragons. No, the dragons are in the sky. Here be bug monsters, apparently. Oh my god. This place is huge, dude. What's that? Oh, it's a rib cage. Oh, she's. Oh, hello. Back off. And with the electric spear. Free topaz. Sick. There's something in here. Time to do some grave robbing. Ah, a claymore. I guess we're playing Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider now. These flames make it impossible to go further. Really? Just walk right by. These flames make it impossible to go further. Link walks right through. Hey, the flames have gone out. Now we can move ahead. You're welcome. What? Fireballs now? <sighs> Looks like we're stuck again. Oh my god, it really is Tomb Raider. Also, do I have to do everything? Ow! Indiana Jones type shit. The fireball stopped. I'm on my way, Link. You can come now, Chief. Get in here. Should totally join me. I'm like murdering all kinds of monsters and stuff. Let there be light. Light. That didn't help at all. Got yeah, his one obstacle. Well, time to give up. She sure is the reckless chief of the Gerudo. A bow. A Gerudo bow. The Gerudo made bow is popular for the fine orna ornamentations made along its limbs. Nice. It's apparently high ranged. What was that? Oh. I guess that explains why the bright bloom seed wouldn't land on it. It was a nest. I like how the Gibdo are like the bug zombies. Because in other Zelda, Gibdo are like mummies. But now they're like bug zombies. And I think they're kind of cool. 
the room of hopeful light. The first guardian we've seen in here. Oh, you're a tanky boy. Give me your head. All right. Is there a mirror anywhere? There's one. Oh, that's a bad guy. Leave him buried. Activate the light. Easily enough. So far, this has been a pretty straightforward dungeon. Just room to room to room. Nice try. I want to know what's down here. A sick ass bow is what's down here. Also, I can't see. Coming through. What the? A regular spear. <laughs> I seem to be stuck. It was definitely worth the time it took to get in there. All right. Anyway, moving on. My electric spear back out. What's going on over here? We're back on the first floor. Hey, I think we actually made it to the center of the temple now. Oh my god. Link, I'm certain that the mural we saw in town was trying to guide us here. And I believe we'll also find whoever that voice we've been hearing belongs to. What is this place? It's the high five room. This is apparently an elevator. Hey, the floor started to rise and slammed back down. Also, that's not the voice that you were that you had when you were talking. Did they not record like non-cutscene dialogue? <laughs> like non-cut non-cutscene voice? Or did they just use the Japanese voice for non-cutscene <laughs> non-cutscene voicing? Anyway. Hey, the floor started to rise and then slammed back down. Daughter, daughter of the Garuda. This platform connects to the very top of this temple. Use your power to charge the four batteries, and it will function once more. So it is four. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping it'd be three. Heed my words. I'm heeding. I heard the voice very clearly just now. It's calling to me. It said that I should use my power to charge the four batteries. Hmm. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple. And the voice that has been speaking to us said that the platform should be able to take us all the way up there. If that's true, we could corner the monster at the top. We might also figure out who's talking to us and why. Hmm. Okay, Link, we need to get to the very top. To start, we should do what the mysterious voice suggested and try to find those four battery devices. Also, it sounded like she started using a different voice like at there at the end. Maybe I'm just tripping. Regardless, we're going to take a quick break. We're at a two hour mark. 
So get up, stretch your legs, get a drink, use the bathroom, stare at Link, stare up his nose, and we'll be right back. Alrighty. <clears throat> I have consumed a granola bar. So. Should have energy to do this dungeon. Let's go! I guess it's just up the stairs. If I look around. 
it seems like there's just like one on each floor. So just go from, from thing to thing. What the hell is that? Hello, you look super cool and you're also freakishly strong. Pulling out the big guns. Oh my god, it's still alive. Get it, Yenovo! Wow, you're tanky. Mr. Soldier Construct 4. With a 24 fuse attack power hat. Born embedded with a sharp disc. The disc spins mysteriously and can slice through almost anything. Man's got a buzzsaw head. Okay. How to get in there? Looks like we need to come from above. Alright, keep going up. Wait. What's this? I'm supposed to hit this with a with a light. Also, there's wind coming out of this. What are you? That doesn't look like I can blow it up. Is this just a an express elevator? Oh, this is just straight up. Looks like she can't get up here. All right, I need to turn on the light somehow. Clean this. Need to go all the way over to my frond. I get my little fan. That was nothing. All right. See the gap over here, right between these two walls. See the l the light. So I have to somehow get the light through there, which I believe I can do by. Setting this there. And. Not quite high enough. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's set you on your side. Interestingly, that wasn't correct. There we go. That's the correct height. And I guess we just line these up. More light puzzles. I love these. Hmm. All right, I need to get that lined up. It wasn't quite ready. There we go. Nice. What about these? How do I get light over there? Hmm. Can that 
reach. I think we might be able to pull this statue over and sit it in front. Like so. All right, cool. Now, where does this want to go? It wants to go up. I see the little light there. There we go. Perfect. Now we can just ascend up there. All right, cool. God, I'm smart. Send. Perfect. Hello. I'm here to press a button. Smart. Now I did go to college. Anyway. Try that again, shall we? Think that wouldn't swimmingly. Yeah, just as planned. Riju. Come here. Get out of the pot. Come here. There we go. One battery charged. So this is one of the batteries. It seems to have absorbed my lightning well enough. All right, three left. Let's go. You know, it'd be a fun gimmick. As like a challenge mode. The Korok weed. Like the 420 challenge where your only healing. That you can engage in. Is Korok fronds. Just herb. Ju just Korok fronds. You can cook them. I think that would be funny. But then again, I'm also not that smart. Get down here. Ah. Seems the Gibdo are spawning. They gonna fight? Yeah, they are. Let them fight. Oops. I don't want to use you as a weapon. There's a lot happening. Get him. I don't know why he's dancing. He's like wiggling. Get his ass. Mirror shield. Oh my God. A legendary mirror shield. was here the whole time wiggle 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 here we go. get it right. wait a minute hold up wait a minute Oh my god, it's... It's killing him! <laughs> By the light be purged!
freak. All right, so light kills Gibdo. Good to know. Oh. <laughs> I need to. What, you weren't attached? Why do you have a pot? What the? Yeah, I'm here. Wait, actually. Just put this on this. We can ascend. And also bring. The mirror. Come here. Get out of the way, mirror shield. All right, don't put it exactly, and we want the light to go up. Is that a dog? I think there's a dog outside barking. Anyway. Hmm. Appears to not be enough power. What if I add more balloon? Dog. He got that dog in him. All right. Try again. Light all three. Stand right here. This isn't working exactly how I would like it. Okay, we're good. We're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I am surprised this is working. All right. Hold up. Hit it. It almost didn't work until it did. <laughs> it worked enough. That's all that matters to me. All right. Battery two. Two more left, Link. Let's hurry. All right. Get down here. This has been a fun dungeon so far. I've I've really enjoyed this one. Might take my number two spot. The music is really good. Oh great, another another light source. Gotta come from over there, done it. Alright. 
Elevate me. Send me. Hello. Get owned. God, the Master Sword has like no durability in this. I've seen the wheel. I see the circle. Oh my god, it's Tetris. Let there be light. Ha <laughs> ha. I know what I must do. Now. And now we wait. So how you doing? Ah. Perfection. Let me out! Oh, I guess it just does it again. Ta-da! Kinda hungry. To go get some food. It's like 5.30. For me, anyway. Don't know what time it is for you. But either way, it's supper time. Go eat. This thing is going to be a problem. Is it? Maybe it is. Or maybe I'll break it. Right? I'm just waiting. Well, wait no more. The time is now. Hey, the trap is disabled. We can get past now. <laughs> what? We can what? No. <laughs> An enemy. Where'd he go? An enemy. Ah, where'd he go? Ah, An enemy. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, I missed. Alrighty. Bonk. The room of light and shade. Oh, hello. Ow! The room of light and shade. This needs to be opened. Somehow. Free the mirror. Ah! I will probably find my solution down here. What's going on? Oh my god! You spin me right round, baby, right round. All right, is any of this stoppable? No. Nailed it. All right, cool. Oh, uh oh, wrong button. I meant to use grab. Hello. Bye bye. I'm going back in. I'm not done yet.
All right. Put that in place. Aimed correctly. Pull it out. Alrighty. Come here, Riju. Number three. Riju? Hey! Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Boop! Okay, only one more battery to go. All right, and where is that one? On the first floor. I like how you can hear the little bit of the Zonai, or like a little bit of the um, distortion. And the music. The music here is really good. There's a path. Ah. Get out! There we go. That one pot was stopping me from moving. Somehow I missed the easiest shrine, the easiest, um, the easiest one to get to. Read you. Read you, get in here. There you are. Do your thing. Yeah. All right, we've charged all of the batteries with lightning. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. All right. You know what? It never occurred to me to think she calls down lightning from the sky correct so how so does this activate it yeah let's go i'm surprised we haven't heard the little distorted hua uh, sound this is like entire game until now, since the beginning. What is... Link, I think this platform is about to move! Let's go. This dungeon was super cool, I love this. We'll see how the boss is. I doubt it's going to be Queen, Queen Gibdo. I doubt she'll be better than the than Muktarok. Hmm? Something is shining over there. Yep, that's yours. Never occurred to me to think. That's true. Oh, we need to kill these hives. Hey, come here. here we, go. we need to kill this. And definitely not release the Gibdo Queen that's inside. Oh my god! There was a Gibdo Queen inside! Hey yo, what'd that mouth do though? Let's go! We'll finish it off here and now! Is that a waltz? We've got it cornered here! Nobo! Hit it! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, these Gibdo bones are like burning arrows. Riju. Okay, there you are. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stand behind. 
Try and birth your freaks! Oh my god! <laughs> High pressure sand! I was expecting it to try and birth a creature, but it didn't. You know, Bo! Stop running from me! You know, Bo! <laughs> God damn it! Uh oh. <laughs> ah, it goes through! Yeah! <laughs> Face me! Oh, great. of these block arrows makes me super sad all right oh boy <laughs> get in there get Just keep smacking, just keep smacking. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Hot. Oh! I'm alive. Ah. Phase two time. Now are you going to summon your boys? Yep, here we go. God, that's gross. I love how they flop out, though. Okay. There goes that hive. Oh, God, moth! Kill it! Get bodied, Gibdo! They don't spawn body parts. <laughs> Get it! Another one down. All right, one more. You can't hit me! Remember to crouch and look down. They can't hit me if I can't see them! I, uh... Ew! Stop that! What?! Alright. You. Give me one moment. All right. Now. Your doom is now, Queen Gibdo. Eat the light. Oh. Oh. Your tornadoes don't scare me, lady. Okay, this isn't doing anything. Reju! Ah! 
I'm okay. You don't want to stop running from me. Get back here! Get your ass! That didn't... Okay, spin attack kind of sucked. Smack her! What the... She iframed it. That's cheating. Where'd you go? 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 I missed, but she ruined herself by running into the light. Dumbass. You're not getting away from me! Whew. I'm going to consume its heart. I'll have to blame the hitbox. Like my controller's like my controller's like broken, man. Like it's drifting to the side. It's like the controller's problem. It's not me. Hey, give me my heart back. Sick. What is that? It's exposition. You're ready for story time number four. Uh. <sighs> I'm gonna do some stretches. Riju, beloved daughter of the Gerudo. I know that voice. You are the one who's been talking all this time. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Gerudo. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? Metal Gear! <laughs> Don't worry. You I wonder if she's going to say the you. same story or... Let me tell you I know I'm distant. I'm... Distant I'm... Past. I'm yeah, I'm sitting away. I wonder if she'll talk more destiny. about during the imprisonment. I wonder if she'll talk about Ganon being Gerudo. Long, long ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the innocent and sought the destruction of Hyrule. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. 
We face the Demon King, but only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks, even the lightning strikes I called down. King Raru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning war. I wonder if Link is going to wind up being reincarnation of Raru. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit <clears throat> me, and she set the Gerudo on our destined path. And there will be a swordsman named Link. When the time comes, your descendant has to, the Gerudo has to the help him. Restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power, the Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. At least they actually had different dialogue, like referencing Ganondorf being Gerudo. Yeah. Actually dialogue about it. And for that we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsman. I'm glad that they had dialogue uh, referencing that because it'd be kind of weird to not talk about the that. Imprisoning <laughs> and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town, but the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman, Link. Someone's revving outside. So it's my destiny to fight by your side. Again. Because we actually technically kind of fought together against uh, Vana Boris. As a sage, my duties as chief and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down the so-called demon king. I guess it's time to claim my destiny. Now eat it. Quick, everybody eat it. Ganondorf can't can't take us if we're all dragons. Five. Give me a new ring. So where was the trailer scene of like of Riju doing like the dance in the desert and summoning lightning? Friends. Maybe side quest content? Maybe. Uh, 
Looks like the the haunts for rain. Use that ring to call upon my power whenever you need it. <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay, should we head back to town? Sure. I've saved your town twice. Least you could do is, you know, give me a ghost. That shoots lasers! Or lightning, kind of like a laser. I like that dungeon. I wonder what... Like, what old Zelda boss that was supposed to be. I guess the uh <laughs> I guess the temple's just going to sit out there in the desert now. <laughs> hey, there's Gerudo Town music. Hmm. Ah, Link. I'm grateful to you for helping me save the Gerudo. I've received reports that ever since the sand shroud dissipated, Gibdo tax have almost entirely stopped. It is no doubt, it will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it is thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. Can I buy clothes now? On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. Nodders. Mm. I am sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Hmm. Actually, Buliara, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just so happens to look like Zelda, that doesn't explain any everything that's been going on. But it's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule in the, that terrible event's follower. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. <laughs> if the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who's the other person? We must uncover her true identity. <laughs> I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gibdos is past, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. Hmm. And with my newfound power as a sage, I will be still be able to support you. I swear that I will do anything I can to help. Vow of Riju, Sage of Lightning. Sick. Oh. Link, you said you'd already visited Rito Village, Goron City, and Zora's Domain. I'm sure Lookout Landing would value any information you could share. Why not go there and see if you can help? So. I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such a reunion. I will probably be back here. At some point. Read you of Gerudo Town. Complete. Sick. Sick, 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 sick. Is that Zelda or Farosh? I can't tell from here. Link, tell them, God damn it! Nope, <laughs> he'll ne he'll never tell. I'll never tell. Hee <laughs> hee. Cause he's dumb. You know what I want to do? Before before we do that, let's go kick Koga's ass. He's right underneath us. Let's go get him. Is there any other hole in near here? Just that one. Where is he? 
He is like directly underneath us. Let's go drop in this hole. Go get Master Koga. I don't know if we'll do any more main story progress today. Oh, hey. Hello. It's a little sweaty out here right now. Let me put on my... Put on my headband. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know. Hello, Riju. Also, that's the dragon theme. Am I that close to a dragon? Nope, oh, yep, there I am. That's Farosh. Hey, if you can go. Ah, this gets more fascinating the more I look at it. Seems the shapes hold some special meaning. Hmm? Oh! I was so engrossed in my work that I didn't even realize I had a fellow traveler to converse with. Guess you can tell I'm a painter. I travel the world in search of beautiful sights. These mysterious floating islands are only the most recent to catch my eye. I was just painting that small island there, as a matter of fact. Star Island. Granted, you can't see it very well when the clouds are in the way. Ever since the upheaval, the sky has been filled with floating islands. But none has caught my fancy so much as that exquisitely shaped one there. Can't ex quite explain it, but it feels as though it's speaking to me somehow. Hmm. Why are the floating islands up there? Can't hurt to take a little time out of your day to stop and think about it. Ancient Zonai. Aliens. All right, before I go in the hole, I want to go check over here. This is a fairy fountain, so I want to go restock on fairies real quick. I thought that there were four wheels of stamina. It surprises me that there's only three. Maybe I'm just dumb. All right. Get my sneaky clothes. Oh, I seem to have scared that fairy away somehow. All right. Everyone be quiet. Yeah, fairy, 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 fairy. Yeah, fairy. There you go. Grab this one while I'm at it. Okay, I'm here. Come here. Just a little bit further. Just float down like a quarter of an inch. There you go. Alright, cool. Very Zach Wired. Alright. Time for hole. What is that? Oh, it's just a piece of a uh, piece of rock. What is that? You know, from up here, Gerudo Town doesn't look all that. All the Gerudo Desert doesn't look all that big. But when you get down into it, it's pretty big. One, two, three, four, five. So there's six statues because there's five here and then there's the one missing one. But there's eight heroines. That's interesting. I 
I do want to know what the, what's about, what that's all about. But I'll probably do that on my own time. Yippee! Discovered the East Gerudo Chasm. Wow. Something sounds aggressive here. What the hell? Oh, it's a frox. Oh boy. Well, guess we're fighting a frox. Hey, buddy. Ha! All right. Where are they? Get my dazzle fruits. Flashbang out. Get up on him. Can't climb his ass. Actually have to climb his ass. Woo Put that away. Yeah. What the? <laughs> I'm missing. Man, with upgraded weapons, this guy is a joke. <laughs> I remember this guy being scary. And done. Easy zone, I baby. And Frox Fangs are pretty good, too. I remember. Yeah, 14. They're decent. Oops. Not boring me today, frog! Keep my... Keep me out of your mouth, literally. Keep my name out your mouth. Keep me out your mouth. I don't want none of that. I need my depths armor and I should have let it heal. Ah! I'm okay. <gasps> Demon rocks. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. We hit this light route so that we can see a little bit here. And then let's go kick Koga's ass. I'm a cowies. Wow, that uncovered a ton. I suppose that's to be expected. There's not a lot of shrines in the Gerudo Desert. Also, you're looking at one of the largest wide open areas. I wish I had a car. Spicy feet, spicy feet. Just top off my health. God, look at all this space for activities. Like, oh my god. See, I could build a car. But I don't feel like it. 
So we're just going to walk. Besides, here's a, uh, this is a Sheikah base anyway. Just get in there and steal their car. All righty, Yiga. I'm here for your things. I'm surprised you're still here, random user. I thought you said you were going to leave soon. It's been three hours and you're still here. <laughs> Need to kill this guy. Get out of the way. Well, those but things happened. I see. Well, hopefully everything's okay. Oh my god. I can't aim. Even when he's facing me head on. There you go, Jesus. It's fine. Okay. I'm in. Am I going to deal with that though? But you know, my solution is getting in there, just walking in. This will be our car. Steal all their stuff though. Mm. We've learned much about the gloom. Familiar si yourself with this information? Supposed to go somewhere, but the other person canceled. Ah, I see. One, nothing can disperse gloom, not even electricity, fire, or cold. Two, touching gloom sucks away life force. Watch where you step and avoid contact. Three, if you do make contact, Sunder Lions provide effective treatment. Alternatively, return to the surface. In addition, promising new research shows the light of roots growing from the ceiling may help recovery. Ever since the roots of light is so weak, additional research is needed to see if these effects can be increased. Salute to Mr. Kurga. You'd, you'd figure that they'd like gloom. Yep. Hey, 20 crystal. Oh. And a Yiga schematic. What do you give me? A shock trap. Interesting. Well, anyway. Stop that. Get out of my way. Time to get the new car. Actually, I want to go out this door. We play my arrows. Eh. Push it out. Push it out. Also, turn this off. Because it's draining my battery. Throw this away. Yeah. Right. Does this have headlights? It does. All right, cool. All right, say hello to our new big rig. Beep, beep. <laughs> Ready to take on the depths. I'm stuck. Thwarted by a small rock. Again! Ah. This is problematic. I keep getting stuck. I think this design might not be super great. Get out of my way, tree! I'm sliding! This car sucks! 
All right. 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 With the the body is an entire thing. I can't get rid of the spikes on the front. <sighs> I was through all that trouble to build, to get that car. Indeed, sucks. Let's go look for some supplies. Come here. All right. This is kind of cool, but I don't want the fans. I can't get rid of it. What is the point of this? This is... Never mind, it's useful. Yeah! Hoverboat! <clears throat> All right, the fans may suck up a little bit of battery. But we got a hovercraft! Beep beep. All right, let's deal with these nerds. Uh oh, ah, no! Car! My car ran away. Car? There you are. Didn't go too far. Uh oh. See you later, jerks. That's an abyss. Abyss. Ah! Okay. So, things didn't work out for you. At least there's still the disembodied souls of the dead to, to keep you, to keep you company. Let's go get this light. We're slowly getting close to Master Master Koga. There's a shrine there. Oh, that was a great stretch. That felt awesome. Anyway, that what the what is that? I don't know. But there's a Zonai outpost here, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Construct. You're not prepared.
for the Hyrulean space program. I'm gonna use this to fly right into Master Koga's head. I'm gonna funk him right in the skull. Alright. Give me the steering wheel. My time has come. <clears throat> Get out of the way of that. I will be collecting these puff shrooms because they are useful. And now. Yeah! No! All right, too close to that mushroom there. <laughs> All right, move to the left a little bit. There you go. Try again. We have liftoff. I think that might be where he is. This big old lit up arena. I don't know. Something tells me he might be there. Also, uh, I need some battery. God, fan planes drain so fast. Oh, hey. A bunch of Yiga doing Yiga things, I guess. I'm gonna get to the root. I'm gonna get to the root of the problem. Alright. Get the light root, get a get a bit of a look for the for the environment. Let's go kick Koga in the teeth, if he even has teeth. Unatori Rose. Sounds like a dragon name. Look at all that light. Look at all the darkness we've dispelled. All right. Koga! I have come to face you. What are you doing? Stop high-fiving. Come on, do something! Hmm? It's the right hand, right? So why isn't this working? You back there! Take over for a while! Is you again! So, Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm doing what you did, exactly! But it refuses to work! You tricked me! I won't stand for this! You've wasted some of my time, but no more! I'll battle you! I'll beat you! And I'll steal that power back from you! Prepare yourself! Ah, uh, here we go again. He's got an airplane! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I rewind you? No. What all the people that were driving out here go? Look at him go. Oh my god! I really got to lead my shots. Got him! <laughs> Ixaz! I need my other sword. Master sword! <laughs> Jump him! 
Oh god, it's Colgate. Not again. All right. He's not prepared. Where is he? There he is. Hat! Your doom. What the? Where'd he go? What the? Ow! That's not fair! You know what else isn't fair? Rocket power! How come he gets to have infinite energy? Because he's mean and evil. And evil people have tons of energy, don't you know? Link got scammed. Yeah. Being good doesn't pay. Ugh. This place is too much sand. You're only winning because it keeps getting in my eyes. So I'm going to let you off easy again. That hunk of junk construct wasn't responding anyway. Change of plans. Operation steal the ancient power is over. I quit. I thought that power might make things easier, but it's just icing. I'm after cake. Just go to Death Mountain. You'll find cake. We've been collecting a mighty power source scattered all across this land. Crystallized charges. That's why he has infinite energy. And we're going to use them to restore the unstoppable weapon for the man himself, the Magnificent One. Once we do, we'll grant his wish for the end of the world. So we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is well underway, and the restoration of the final weapon is close at hand. We've already stripped all the resources here. You want this empty shell, you can have it. I'm going to be swimming in crystals at the eastern abandoned mine. Now I float, now away I fly! Kind of feel bad for him. I love him. I love Koga. Greetings. Ah. Hold up. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. The eastern abandoned mine that man spoke of is most likely the abandoned Lenevru mine. It is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. I suggest ascending to the surface first. You may, able to be, you may be able to find a chasm leading there in the region to the east. There are two chasms in the region to the east that contain stone guideposts leading to the abandoned Lenayru mine. I recall a chasm on land in the Lenayru wetlands. There is also one south of there in a mountain village. There is one other thing that you, before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages schema stones. You may want to ask for one. Okay. One more thing. I'd let him win out of pity. I want to bully him. Hey, sick. Battery upgrade. Let's go wake everybody up. Give me my schema stone. Authorizer verified. I'm not going to put on the voice changer. Welcome. This is once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. It is a managed designs for mining equipment. Please hold on one moment. I've confirmed there's a schema stone you don't have. Allow me to rectify that. Nice. <laughs> and it builds the hover cart. Sick. Also build the... Give you the parts to build it. Oh, this game stone provider is useful. It will be. Ooh, banana. I'm hungry. All this turnover has led to a supply shortage, shortage in the bases. You know how hard it is to find a banana? The depths are complete wasteland. Nothing around here seems in the least bit edible. 
think that everyone would take that seriously and respect the ingredient in food stock, but no! The wretched new recruit ate a whole shipment of bananas the moment I took my eyes off of them. From now on, I'm keeping my own supply. Glory to Master Koga. The banana wars are in full swing here. Why is there a wheel on the back? How's this supposed to work? Like, obviously, it gets pushed up because of the... It's like a chainsaw. Buzz. That's kind of cool. I like that car. Let's wake up the, the forge guy. Wake up. Forge me things. Yeah, crystal. All right, sick. Take four. And I could probably take all of this. That should be 30 more or three more batteries. That's a big deal. All right, was there a bargainer anywhere near here? No, the bargainers are all up north. There's a spot marked on a map here. I want to go check that out. Take these batteries. Oh, a dead guy. Steal his heart. Put them on here. Alright. Let's go. First off, let's get these big pose. Yep, 40 pose. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at all those souls. Definitely buy a new spell. And all right. Let's go get this treasure. Beep, beep. This thing is actually pretty battery efficient. Only problem is I can't see in the dark. Which is a major problem. All right. Light it up. Car was a good idea. And then nature said no. What if you wanted to explore the depths, but nature said, Cliff. SMH. Ooh, muddle bud. What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a balloon. A balloon. Who cares about balloons? I'm going for the... For the light route. The Tatayim light route. Alrighty. Show me how much I... Oh my god, I've uncovered so much. A 
abandoned Karakara mine. Hopefully this won't try and eat me if I grab it. All right, cool. Miner's mask. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm a jingly boy. Wake up, friend. Authorizer verified. Welcome. This is a bunch of busy refinery. Task is to manage designs. Hey, schema stone. Ooh, a scaffold design. That's actually kind of sick. I probably would have used that in the fire temple. Let's wake this guy up too. They look like they smile. Underneath their chin, they look like they got smiley faces. Buy the last of these. Can't buy literally all of them, but I can buy nearly. Now we need more zonite. I'm gonna go grab the other... the other tre chest while I'm here. Might as well, you know. Heading... Almost directly south. Yep, almost directly south. Alright, let's get going. Get out of here. Bye, Yonobo! You don't see me. Oh, that's a lot of gloom right there. Man, can't teleport. Get my gloom pants on. <laughs> All right. All right, sick. Construct spot. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Never mind. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Rude. Let there be light. I bring light to this accursed realm. Man, Skele Horse, fantastic find. I love Stall Horse. Let's go! Or name you Chester. The Underground Cemetery. What the? Wait, that's a Gibdo. What the hell is happening to this horse? All right. I'm just going to go turn on the light. You think this 
kill the Gibdo? Nope, they're fine. All right, our target is in here. This is a Coliseum. Oh. Uh-oh. What the? How do I get in? How do I get in? Normally you just walk on top. What is this? Guess we have to walk in the front door like a plebeian. Wow, that's claustrophobic. What are we looking at here? What's the damage? What are you? Oh, horriblins. I can take horriblins. A silver horriblin? I don't know about a silver horriblin. That might be a problem. I got a full squad now. More horriblins. Honestly, it just seems to be horriblin. Well, I don't seem to have a choice in the matter anymore. Get him! Thanks for the help. Here comes the next wave. Whew. All right, Reju's ability, pretty good. I approve. Uh oh. You've been had! Set that ass on fire. Oh, more of them. It's all right, we can take them. Yeah! Read you! Damn it! <laughs> Yeah, get him! Right on, please. Woo! Yes! All right. That ability, very good. Silver Horblin. This is a problem. Get his ass! Down here. All right. Now we take one of each. Hey, silver horriblin horn. That's a cool looking horn. Also, it's really good. Don't 
Don't let him get out of here. <laughs> get stun locked. Put that shit down. All right. Silver guy's out. Ooh, they got reach. It's just you. Die, fool. That was fun. I'm glad I found a Coliseum that wasn't chock full of, <laughs> of Lynels. Ooh. What? Sheik's mask. A mask said to have been worn by a Sheikah who saved a time traveling hero. Made from the finest Sheikah stealth fabrics is a final word in undercover gear. Oh my god. I'm a monk. Well, that's cool. Time to go over here. He is actually underneath the domain. This is going to be a problem to get to. Well, that tunnel should be able to let us jump right, dr jap, drop right into it. Let's just jump into it. I could go get more batteries. Maybe later. Not right now. Where am I? I don't remember getting this shrine. I don't know where this is. I have no memory of this place. Where am I? Anyway. Get my actual depth gear on. Time to jump in your mom. Wow. All right, let's get this light route, get some visibility around here. Not a whole lot. It's like a structure, though. What is this? It just seems like a bunch of guys, a bunch of goobers, a bunch of dudes hanging out. That's a... That was a Lizalfos. I'm not dealing with that. I guess I am. Well, only one way up. Bye bye. Stop chasing me! Ah. Cover! Can't
can't hit me from over the way over there. Dumb lizard. I'm out of here. All right, getting that light route did not really help at all. <laughs> Great, now they got Malice or Gloom. They've Gloomified Silvers too, sick. It's just what I wanted to see. It is a long run. Ooh, bomb flowers. Grabbing those. Grabbing bombs. Oh boy, the abyss. What is that? It's a muck rock. Yeah. Oh. Wait, the drop. Well, there's a flux guardian here. Flux construct, whatever. Kick his ass. What up? Die punch in my mic, sorry. Get him! It's just a number two. A number two! Ah, you've revealed yourself to me! Where'd he go? There it is. Get him! Ah, I see. Whoop, 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 whoop. None of that now. Get down here. Oh my god. Oh! This form is so annoying! <sighs> I hate this one. Oh, that block seems to be stuck. There we go. something god damn it link ow why You know, except for this dumb UFO form, I really like this boss. I do not like the UFO version. Put this on it. 
Here we go. Jeez. Oh my god, there's actually water. Right, this is the way to the muck the rock. I want to go fight him. I want to go beat him up, take his things. Oh, water. I wonder if there's any other bosses that are that it can be found down here or if it's just him. <clears throat> I feel like uh, Colgara wouldn't work very well. Hopefully I don't have too far to climb. Nailed it. Where was this guy? I thought he was just in this direction. <clears throat> I guess not. Well, maybe he's up here. Master power, Master Sword's back. Yay! There he is. I want to fight Mok Okdurak again. Mokdurak. <clears throat> Let's go get him! Hey, buddy. Quite the arena they've given you there. You remember me? Because I remember you. All right. Time to play Spittoon. I missed. Yeah. Oh my God, he has so much more health. Get him! I want this. Goofy little guy! Jump him! Eat it! God, he has so much more health. Oh, man. Oop. Back here. 
Jeez, he's hanky. I recognize the sound he makes when he runs away. All right, here we go. Phase two. Look at his wiggly little hands. All right, side on. Oops. He's got the slop everywhere. Get him. Give me a side on. Yeah. Jesus, he gets some distance on those hops. Okay, 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 okay. Flux score smasher. Why did I throw that? I was trying to throw the fucking jellies. Whatever. This game has flawless controls. Gotta go get my weapon. My God.
Get the slop beast! Go there he is. Okay. Get him. Hello. Really wish there was some better way of activating their abilities. rough <laughs> give me all this give me your octorock denigles god he used like all of my stuff hey and I got a battery out of it that's kind of worth it all right, back to actually what we were doing. Koga is this way. All righty. Actually, before we do that, we're going to take a quick break. It's been another two hours. So we're going to stand up, walk around, stretch your legs, get a drink, use the bathroom, all that good stuff. We'll be right back.
And we're back. <clears throat> Two hours already? I know, right? Yeah, we're almost at four and a half hours here. Gerudo Desert was a lot of fun. I really think that was a... A really good little quest. And, um... And dungeon combo. I think, so far I think, when it comes to pre-dungeon, I think I put Gerudo first, then Hebra. And then probably Lanayru and then Elden. In terms of pre-dungeon, the actual dungeon uh, water temple is at the top. Water temple, lightning temple. Oh my god, that's quite the climb. Then wind temple and fire temple. Jump through the slop real quick. Get out of there. Ooh, I might have to eat some of my stamina food. Should also probably put on my climbing gear. So I don't fall to my death. Yippee! Oh, that was a bad idea. I thought that maybe I could stand here to recover my stamina for a second, and I couldn't. Almost. 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 Well. Link has slippery feet. So, full recovery, baby. Let's go! I want out of this pit. Let me out of the pit! I'm tired of the iron ingots! Get me away from the trogs! Ah! I want to go back to Anchorage. Ah, that's a reference. <laughs> Alrighty, get me out of the pit. Where's my giant seed? Awesome! I don't think I can get around that. Oh my god! Fuck you on my nose. Ow! Kill them while they're babies. Don't let them become big. Ow! What the? You annoying little flies. Andros's enemy is my enemy. All right, so... We have to find the way in. Is that an electric? That's an electric gloomed out keys. Sick. Give me the traveler's claymore. Leave me alone. Plane dispensary. Let us build. Let's 
All right. And there is no. <clears throat> There's no sled, so looks like we're doing this the old fashioned way. could the entrance here be? It's gotta be this. Let's use the overground map in order to get around here. Which is a brilliant idea, if I do say so. Who's big battery? Because if you haven't noticed the... Um... The underground map is the... Elevation of the above ground map inverted. and bodies of water cannot be crossed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Apparently that, that bridge was uncrossable. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Down. The wall keeps going. Really got to go all the way around, don't I? <clears throat> you know, I should have gone to where... I knew the statues are. But we're too far into this now. What the? Is that an ascension point? Wait. Ew. Ganon gooped all over the wall. Gross. Wonder where the rest of the climbing gear is. Because, like, it has pants and a headband. Oh, boy. I get past this. Get up. God damn it, more of them? Yeah. What up? Ah! I need to eat. I don't have any gloom healing food. Chase it! It's the cops, run! Ah, we found the way in. Whew. Yeah. 
All right, we did it. With minimal casualties. Yeah, it's got to be across the bridge is the way in. Oh, hello, Rock. Follow the Zora Brick Road. Ooh, that's a lot of gloom. Welcome to the Rudo Canyon Mine. Actually... Do some investigation here. What is this? Who the? This is survey team. Are you actual survey team or are you Yiga? Uh -huh. You're Yiga. What? Don't surprise me like that. I was supposed to know you were a Yiga clan member or something. He's practically scared to pass off me. Aww. Um, so you are also here to investigate the ore in these mineral deposits? Ore? Oh. Yeah, there's stuff here. Hey, Zonite, thanks. Uh... I mean, that's some pretty weird ore, right? Never seen it on the surface. Oh. These ore deposits over there are chock full of it. Given the gouged out terrain and all the tools and structures we found, I think this place used to be a mine. Oh. Same for the other huge valleys, too. It's just a shame we have no idea how to use this ore. You have no need to know, do you? Because oh. right now, you're looking at the Yiga who will take you down. Uh? You have a cross-eyed face. I love your life! <laughs> Dork. Anyway. Give me that. I need... To, to, to dig. Alright. Bombing time! Throw the bomb, Link. Throw the bomb, Link. Thank you. I need more Zonite. I need more. More ore. Well, really only two pieces. Got these big... These big veins suck. They're a waste of bombs, like... Jesus. Hit these little ones, you get like four for one. It's awesome! But also, this is a mine, so there should be... a clothing chest here. No, not the bomb, not the bomb, not the bomb. There we go. Looks like it's up here. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have here? Uh, it's not, not clothes, just crystal. I'll take it. Ah, sick. Take some extra zonite. I really need to go get some batteries after this. All right, which way was I going? That way. Keep following the statues, boys. that guy had an actual like 
survey team tent. Want to get all these foes? There's a ton of them up here. Ooh, hey, more ore as well. Muddlebud. Those are also huge. In power, at least. They're not actually that big. Use some regular seeds. I don't feel like the giant ones do too much better, if I'm being honest. And I've got almost 500 of these guys, so. Sweet bomb. Give me all three. Yeah, baby. Make up for all the ones I wasted on the flux construct. Yeah. What the? It's lit in there. Down the way in. And here's our light route. Hawagum. Oh, there was another way in. I totally missed it. That's fine. Alrighty. Yoga, where are you at? The shallow water or deep water? Deep water. You're up. I want to wear a different hat. There we go. There he is. Hey, Koga. What you doing, buddy? Wake up, come on! Ugh, what am I doing wrong? Maybe my angle's off? No, that's still not working. Hello. Whoa! How long have you been there? Oh, you little... Tried to catch me off guard, didn't you? You... Cowardly sneak! Like I said before, my plan has changed! Oh, you already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So what you saw was just, uh, you know... I was killing time! I believe you. So, yeah, you get it. Anyway, can't believe you followed me to another mine. Persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh! Ah, oh, he brought friends. I've got things to do, so let's make this real quick. Yiga clan, attack! Ow! Time to get on a boat. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm sinking. You know, boat, come back. Ha! I need, I need a better weapon. Better weapon, better weapon. You. What? Is this mine now? 
This is mine now. <laughs> I'm on a boat and it's going fast and. Ow, I hit myself with my own boat. Oh, hey, hey, hey. All right, so we hop from boat to boat. I see. Hit! I've boarded! Boarding action successful! All right. Use attack power. Silver horn. Drop it. There we go. Da, 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 da. Fire! I missed. What the? Ramming! Boarding action! All right, that's a much better sword. There he is all the way over there. He put up a wall. That's cheating. Hit. You know what? Stop hitting our own boat. Where'd he go? Oh my God. Huh. <sighs> Throw it at me. <laughs> Fire! Smack him! Poof! That was fun. Ugh. Uh, the steering stick got wet, so my hands slipped. I know that. <laughs> I know what that's like. No matter. Once again, you're too late. But he dug up all the crystallized charges this place had to offer. And there's more. Just got word from my underlings. They've located the man himself. They found the Demon King. Just one more step. One teeny little step until the Ega Clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. We have more than enough crystallized charges now. And there's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Mm. Hear me now, Link. It's time to start the final excavation. The Northwestern abandoned mine awaits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon, offer it to the Demon King, and bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. You'll get yours! Just you wait! Be in like 30 minutes, buddy. Greetings! Yep. Thank you for eliminating. I was listening closely. The Northwestern abandoned mine that the man is heading for is the abandoned Hebra mine. There are a few chasms in Hebra with by which to reach it. Fast stretching from Hyrule Ridge that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there being a chasm somewhere that connects, to, correct, connects directly to the abandoned mine. There's one other thing before you resume your journey. A uh, scheme of stone, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So we have to finally figure out how to get into the... Rito Village area. Said that there's something that correct connects directly, so I'm guessing there's a hidden a hidden tunnel. The only known way to enter the depths is through chasms. If the upheaval, many chasms appeared across Hyrule. 
when navigating the depths proves too treacherous, try leaving and returning through a different chasm. To fully conquer the depths, we must find every entrance. However, unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. It's rumored, for instance, that a chasm is somehow open inside a cave. Surely this is not the only connected entrance. There may even be holes that do not seem to be chasms at first glance. But take heart. The gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon, and most can be seen from above. Glory to Master Koga. Does that imply that the... That this chasm is in a cave? Is that what that's trying to imply? I suppose we'll find out. New schema. What is it? It's a bolt boat. What is that? What does that use? Oh, it's a boat that shoots lightning. Interesting. What the? Those are Octoroks. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mr. Guy. Since I'm turning these guys back on, do you think they'll start working again, like digging? Do you think I'm accidentally turning the Zonai uh, industry back on? How many can I buy? 18. I have six charges now. Whenever I decide to finally go buy it, or to go use them. What's above me? That was the rest of the mine. That's Zonite. Sick. I grab this poo. Let's go deal with the Octoroks. They're guarding a treasure chest. Actually, before we do that, let's climb up here and get the grand poo up here. Ah. And then we build the, the bolt boat and just ruin the Octoroks' day. I see the plan. Give me these 40 pose. Sick. Actually, there's a there's a big pose up here too. Oh my god, there's so many pose here. <clears throat> and I need them for clothes. All right. Boat boat time. Let's do this. Boat boat. Construct. All right. Time to kill him. Hey. That was easy. I want these. All right, what are you? Hey, 20 more charges. <clears throat> All right, before we go to the uh, to, to Rito Village to see how we can get into the Hebra Mine. Let's go get some more batteries. Get six more charges. We're going to almost double our battery capacity here. That is going to be very sick.
Hey there, Nacho. How you doing? <clears throat> yep, get producing. Let's go. I'll see you later, Nacho. Okay. There should be somewhere that connects directly. So there's got to be a hidden chasm. It could be in a cave, it could be in a well. Whale, whale, whale. Could be a cave on the side of this island for all we know. There. <clears throat> I don't see anything. Oh, hey, a hot air balloon. Hello? Who are you? Oh. oh, Ponic. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Ever since you, since we seen you since we met at the Hyrule Field Chasm. Josh asked me to search the area around Rito Village for a chasm, oh. and lo and behold, I found one. <gasps> See, it's directly below us. Oh my God. Oh. Plan to return and report my findings to Josh after I rest rest for a short while longer. If you plan on entering the chasm, I urge you to do so with caution. I'm going in. Uh oh No, 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 no. <laughs> Link, turn around! Every now and then. All right. Hello there. Let's get some... gear on. Nice hat. All right. Let's go. Don't hit the side. <laughs> Almost spiked it right into right into the side. Let's get myself a glow. This one has different music. All right. Light this baby up. There's no stamp here. Let's see what we're looking at. All right, sick. Finally. After so long, we've made it to the inside. One second, I need to pop my finger. There we go. Surprised he didn't go to the Goron area, but I guess it is too hot there. Too hot? Hot damn.
All right, Koga, you've done boat, you've done plane, you've done car. What do you have left? He's just sitting there. Menacingly! Excuse me while I rip the heart out of this guy. What are you doing? Saving. Mm. I've been waiting for you. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. And now, our gift to the Demon King. A weapon beyond compare. We'll be reborn. Oh my god, he can fly. Today will go down in infamy. As the day of our ultimate weapon's resurrection! And the day the world faced its end! Behold this feat of engineering! Oh my god! The unstoppable Zonai construct! Count your blessings, Link. Your death will prove the Yiga clan's might. Then I'll go take my rightful place in the darkness below the castle where the Demon King now dwells. Yes, where the end of all things will begin! In the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. Uh-oh. Now, come and get me. He put up electric barbed wire. This time, I'll bury you! Oh my god, it's a Gundam fight. <laughs> Wish I could get in the robot and steal it from him. <laughs> Ultimate power, my ass. Oh my god! Oops. That's a problem. I'm out of arrows. Side on. Yeah. Side on. Stop running from me, you bitch. Come here. Ha. What the? All right, I need to hit him with a blade beam then. <laughs> you think those will save you from me? Oh my God. It's okay. I'm okay. You know why? I have so much food. Ah! Eep up! Coward! Yet! Absorb! Get him, team! Spank him! To death? Oh my god, really? Come on! <laughs> Oh my god, he blocked it. <laughs> you know ball! <laughs> you know ball! <laughs> you just keep punching him in the face! Uh.
<laughs> Stop shielding. You've been had. Koga! Ha! That was fun. Ah, oh, my beautiful weapon. All my work destroyed. You little twerp! This was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King. You think I'm just gonna let this stand? Do you? <laughs> Time to bust out my serious moves! Starts breakdancing. A brand new technique I came up with in the deepest darkness of the darkest depths. It will destroy you! Oh my god. <laughs> Tremble in fear before my unstoppable Koga rocket. This is the end. Now fly, Koga rocket! Yeah. This wasn't supposed to happen! <laughs> How dare you, Link! I love my revenge! Bye, Koga. <laughs> Can I have his robot? I want the robot. Oh, hey, buddy. Greetings. <laughs> Pokes his head up. Greetings. I'll come to you. Please wait a moment. Thank you for driving out the trespasser. I watched your battle closely. It is unlikely he will appear in another abandoned mine. His manner of departure attests to that. Mines similar to this one can be found under thriving surface settlements and other places of distinction. There appears to be some connection between the surface and the depths. Very curious. Perhaps you find this equally intriguing. Maybe a good idea for you to explore this connection. There's one other th One more thing! Give me a scheme of stone. Better be a robot. It better be a robot. All right, what are your rewards for me? A diamond, that's fine. And... A whole ass battery. Now that'll take... I love battery. All right, buddy. What do you have for me? Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, it's a rocket platform. That's actually not bad. Because it'll ascend straight up and then stay where it ends. That's actually good. Like, no joke. If I remember it's there, I'll use it. <laughs> I'll probably end up using it at some point. Because you get enough zonite, that's like... That's like perfect Sky Island. Like, um... Exploration stuff. I have no zonite at all, though, so... I think I'm getting here. I want to explore the rest of this little mine area. Ooh, free zonite. Oh, there is something up there. There's a reason they gave they gave me the materials to test it out. What we do? 
go read the last note. Every year you should keep our courage purpose kindled in their hearts by singing our anthem at least three times a day. Eagle Clan Anthem of the Depths, we clumps of earth. Glory to Koga and the mighty Eagle Clan. Our master is the strongest, he's got a secret plan. He fell from the sand to darkness, did bring him to the depths. But did he waver? Never into action leapt. The Eagle Clan and followed hearts fiery and true. We'll soon rise up our weapon, revived of stone blue. In the dark we dwell now, we convert columns of earth. Soon we'll rise to take our roof for everything it's worth. Glory to Koga and the mighty Ego clan. The earth itself will tremble, our ascension is at hand. Glory to Master Koga. Very cool. Ooh, banana. Ooh, banana. Alright. I need to know what's up there. It's like glowing on top. Time to ascend! Build! And! Go! Yippee! Alright, what are you? Hey, 20 charges. Sick. Give me the boat. Is there anything else down here? And here's another po. A couple of them. I think that might be it. All right, sick. Well, that was fun. Get owned, Koga. Whew. Now what? <laughs> Look at, look at how, actually, in the end, look at how little of the depths I've explored. I've been all over the surface a lot. I have not explored a lot of the depths. Now, you know what? I don't think I want to be here till 9 again. So, we are going to end now. And tomorrow, I think... We'll continue making main story progress. Hopefully I'll start earlier. I probably won't. But we'll figure that out tomorrow. For now, though, I hope you all had a good time. I certainly did. And I will see you all later. Wrong scene. Don't worry about it. There you go.